So with me covering many mods here on my channel with Cyberpunk, I feel it's super important to cover this news on the risks in using certain kinds of mods and the warning pull out by CDPR as well as covering the fix. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. So via Reddit a few days back a post was dropped which has now been updated with a statement pulled out by CDPR but the statement on Reddit which was posted first by Romulus is here confirmed that through the use of a mod or a crafted save game malicious codes can be executed to take control of the PC by the creator of the save game or mod. CDPR was made aware of this serious security vulnerability for almost one week. They went on to release the hotfix 1.11 but didn't bother to address this. You have Pixel Rick Red Tools team to thank, so thanks Pixel Rick, whose discovery brought this to the attention of the modding community. He goes on to edit his post where he says, Initially I was under the impression that this vulnerability only affects the PC platform, but Pixel Rick, Rick himself has confirmed that the PS4 too is susceptible to this vulnerability to an extent. It is common knowledge that many of you like to download save games or use mods from Nexus Mods or sources of your liking. It's very different for the average user to know if a save game or a mod has malicious code within it. What's more, this is a simple issue of literally changing something from 5.11 to 2.55 if you intend on closing the security loophole. Obviously, competent testing was not done and therefore this exploit is there for the taking. So this post basically confirms that the risk is there for the taking people, but doesn't confirm the finding of such problems. But mark my words people, if people out there didn't have the idea to do this, they do now. But thanks to this post on Reddit, CDPR are taking action as they tweeted out the following. If you plan to use cyberpunk game mods or custom saves on PC, use caution. We've been made aware of a vulnerability in external DLL files the game uses which can be used to execute code on PCs. Issue will be fixed ASAP. For now, please refrain from using files from unknown sources. So what does this mean people? Well my advice to you is if you play on PC don't install any mods sent to you via any external sources. Only use sites like Nexus Mods but even there guys. Check that mods and the creator of said mods have a great reputation which I can confirm all the mods I have dealt with and covered on my channel as far as I am aware were created by legit folks not wanting to exploit anybody. But again guys, check and be sure. Also when it comes to game saves, which I myself have tried in the past, these I'd wait for CDPR to address a fix before using any from now on. Yeah for sure if you have some already installed and have done for a while, I'd think you're probably fine there. But right now I wouldn't go on to use any others. A lot of these game saves are shared about the internet and uploaded to various different places before making their way onto places like Nexus. So just be careful people. Again, if you do want to go and use a game save, make sure it's from a legit uploader. In terms of save game editors with Cyberpunk, I'd imagine these are fine if you are editing your own saves. Just don't overwrite any of your saves with any external saves. Now if you guys are familiar with the mod Cyber Engine Tweaks, they have updated their program which addresses this issue. So make sure if you use it you have their latest version which I will link down below. This completely eliminates the problem as far as I am aware. So to be honest guys, if you have used any form of mod while playing on PC, I do recommend you installing this as it takes that risk away. If you don't know how that is done you'll see it on the screen now, it's relatively simple people. Go to the link found in the video description and then just do as I do on screen. The path to the folder which you need will differ depending on how you play Cyberpunk on PC but the path you will see on screen. Make sure when you do this to tick to overwrite any previous files. But yeah for those who don't want to install Cyber Engine tweaks be very careful and await the fix from CDPR. But yeah guys I thought I'd just drop this quick video as I cover and share many many mods. 99% of the time from Nexus which is a trustworthy source but you can't be too careful. 
but it's info I feel you need to know, so I hope it helps. In terms of console, I have no idea how that works. I mean, I play on Xbox anyway, don't play on PlayStation. But if any of you guys know how this may work on PlayStation 4, can you even transfer game saves and things like that? I'm guessing you probably can via a USB, like you could with Borderlands. But again, if you're into that, be very, very careful. But I'm pretty sure someone down below in that comment section will explain it all. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helps you out. If you did leave a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, people, I will see you on that next one.